All right, Barakat Da Yahweh, Barakat Da Yahweh Shai, Barakat Da Yahweh, Barakat Da Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, these things shall intensify, and they are indeed intensifying. All right, which is the topic of this video. All right, it's going to get intense. All right. Things are going to get intense. Okay, now you had multiple tornadoes, um, record-breaking tornado warnings in the certain areas of the Midwest. All right, and mind you, these are places where Gad, okay, the tribe of Gad, all right, which are the so-called Native American Indians, all right, and Reuben, remember uh, the tribe of Reuben, you, they have the Trail of Tears, so these areas... All right, are becoming um, areas where there's great destruction and devastation left at the hand of the Heavenly Father. All right, and we give all glory and all praises to Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, for waking us up to the knowledge and getting the understanding of the works that are going to be made manifest the tokens that are shown upon the earth that there is indeed a living God, all right, and his son who sacrificed himself, all right, for the elect of Israel, the ones that get this knowledge and this hope, okay, of salvation in a time of great distress, destruction, anguish, and tribulation among the people, all right, so um, I'm going to go to a few scriptures first, let me get this, uh, this word right here. All right, now I just did this. So we're going to go to the word intense. Okay, intense of situations or qualities. It says great extreme. All right, so there's going to be great and extreme situation and circumstances that are going to befall the hopeful elect in the latter times of Babylon the Great. But the Lord said, call upon him in a time of trouble. All right. And he have given us his name. Now, the majority of the world, all right, the masses of the world that do not have the name, his name, and the hope of his name to call upon, all right, in these last days. All right. But we of the hopeful house of the elect, we have those names and we believe, all right, and these works are dedicated to those names. We do, we do these works in dedication unto those names that in the time that we speak of, all right, the time of great tribulation, the time of trouble, such as never since there was a nation, we will be remembered, okay, of those two names, all right, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, all right, because Yahweh Shah is going to carry out the, the words, okay, uh, what was written, all right, of the Father, all right, the things that the Father have indeed promised, he's going to give Yahweh Shai the power to manifest those things, all right, and it's going to be in time of great extremes, all right, it says Latin, intensus, stretch, strain, high strung, tight all right and then it says our literal sense of stretched out strain all right now let's go to uh let's go to the blue letter no matter of fact there was a precept in the apocrypha Okay, let's see. Uh, I had mentioned Gad, the, the, the tribe of Gad. All right, the tribe of Gad and, you know, the, the misery uh, that the uh, Reubenites went through, the tribe of Reuben went through during the time of the Trail of Tears. But I wanted to bring this out in the book of Baruch, 
of the fourth chapter around the 30th verse it says take a good heart O Jerusalem for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee who gave us the name of Jerusalem Yahweh the heavenly father all right and it says he he will comfort thee it says for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee it says miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at th thy fall now who were the ones that afflicted us and rejoiced at our fall the edomites all right we're in the time that the edomites are being judged all right and this destruction and devastation that the Heavenly Father is intensifying, okay, is bringing a strain on the monetary system. Me and the elder brother, uh, Pasha, we, we spoke about it at the camp and we spoke briefly about it today. Insurance, all right? Insurance rates are going to go up, all right? Everything is tied to insurance, okay? And we attribute these to the works of the Heavenly Father, which cannot be controlled by man. All right, the whole earth is going to tremble when the Lord revealeth that he is, or that his son is a dark-skinned man and he's for the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The whole, the, the people of the earth shall tremble, all right, at the works of the Lord in the last days, at the day of the Lord, which we're in the last days now. We're in the latter of the last days, anticipating the coming day of the Lord. Verse 31 says, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. All right, the nations rejoiced at our fall. All right, in particular, the Edomites, all right, they rejoiced and they're going to be miserable. All right, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy son. So you woke up or a lot of uh, Edomites in the Midwest woke up, all right, to the fact that their way of living and their day-to-day -day living life routine is going to be changed for a time, all right? And it's going to come a time where their country, all right, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, all right, which is the land of the captivity of the children of Israel, when the Lord brings back the captivity, he's going to leave Babylon the Great desolate. All right, it's going to be burned by fire. All right, and this scripture tells of it. All right, it says, Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy son. So you had a nation that will conquer a nation and receive the sons of Israel. All right, miserable are they that received thy sons. It says, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin when we were down, all right, when we were brought very, very low. All right. And was glad of thy fall. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation. All right. So just as we were brought low and he rejoiced over us. All right. We're going to see a desolation. OK. Of the wicked. Of Esau, Edom, of these other nations being brought in subjection under the nation of Israel. All right. And this is going to be. Uh, proceeded, I know, no, I say, uh, well, I don't want to say that word, but but before that happens, all right, our Lord Yahweh Shai has to come and, and do his work. He has to show, the, the earth has to tremble. The earth will tremble, okay? Right now, the Lord brought forth tornadoes, all right? But the earth is going to tremble, all right? It's going to, uh, because of those nuclear missiles. Like the scriptures say, real to and fro as a drunkard. All right, it says, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mourning. So the pride of Babylon is going to be turned into mourning. All right. The, the pride of Esau, how his, his tongue walketh in the earth. All right. He sets his nest on high. All right, he's stout, all right, in, in his uh, uh, talks of the future. All right, he doesn't acknowledge the, heaven, the works of the Heavenly Father. All right, he's proud. 
all right? And he's going to be brought into desolation and his, his posterity is going to be turned into mourning, all right? They're going to be sad. They're going to be sorry, all right? It says, for fire shall come upon her. Who is the her? The ba Babylon the Great. From the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time, all right? So that's why we rejoice, okay, in the power that gave Israel the name Israel and set Jerusalem, all right, to be the city of peace for a specific people, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and the Lord's going to gather the elect out of those people, all right, and, and, and plant them in the true land with peace and safety, all right? That's why these things are playing out. Now, let's go into the blue letter real quick. I want to get the scripture real quick. I think this is uh, Isaiah 26. No, 29. Isaiah 29, 7. No, 6. Isaiah, Isaiah 29 and 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, all right, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So we, we attribute those works to Yahweh Bashim El Shah, the Heavenly Father, all right? The heavens reveal his work, all right? And by the Lord, people were afraid. People were uh, brought into terror, all right? Uh, put in a state of terror and panic, all right? And we attribute this, this to the Lord. It says, shall a trumpet be blown, Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Right, we attribute it to the Lord, all right? Now, when the trumpet of war is blown in the city, the people are afraid, all right? Because what? Outside of those walls, there's an enemy that wants to come in and ravish the women, all right? Kill off all the all the war, the men that are, are, are able to fight in war, all right, kill off the elder, elderly, all right, take the riches of the city, all right, when the trumpet's being blown, the people are afraid, okay, but it says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So if there's evil in the city, all right, the Lord have done it. All right. If there's destruction that comes to a city, we attribute it to the Heavenly Father. All right. The prophets of the Lord acknowledge the power. All right. The mighty power that giveth the decree and it happened if and it happened upon the earth. All right. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. All right. So if the secret the secrets are revealed to the Lord's servants, the prophets, the prophets declare it, all right? The lion have roared, who will not fear? The Lord have spoken, who can but prophesy? All right, so all we can do is prophesy, okay, of the destruction, all right, that's coming, all right? The, the end of the world, all right, the end of one world, one rulership, one way of, of life, in the beginning of another, which is going to be righteous, all right? And the Heavenly Father is going to look upon it and bless it and give it peace, all right? The nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the Lord's elect, all right? So with that, I'll get out in the video, call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akar Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Until the next video, shalom.